in the past it's always been Plessy versus Ferguson. But for what Centenary is trying to do and what the Diversity Committee is trying to do, the notion of having a foundation come to college that is Plessy and Ferguson, where you get both sides of these questions trying to address the same issue, was very relevant and spoke to the needs of our students today and of our society at large. What Keith Medley did was to write a book about the fact that this case took place in New Orleans and people do not remember that. They don't recognize that that historic case, Plessy v. Ferguson, one of the three most important civil rights cases in American history, took place in New Orleans and got to, to the Supreme Court through the efforts of a small grassroots organization of mostly Creole Americans Today we would expect a case like Plessy to be headline news and to be uh, dominating news coverage for weeks. I think in its time there was such ambivalence and a growing sort of disregard for civil rights north and south. The Republicans had tried to enforce civil rights and worked uh, for about four years during uh, Reconstruction to protect freed slaves. And between 1876 and 1896, I think one could describe it as a period of apathy and lethargy uh, in the North, just kind of wanting the South to get back to governing themselves. To me, it was just the idea that we can move on and come together and move past things. So it was very, very moving and it was very enlightening. And it was hopeful because in today's society, we do have a lot of problems and issues, especially pertaining to race. So it was nice to see that these two people come together and are kind of showing us that we can move past these ideas and come together as one, which is the hope that we have. Plessy's legacy and how these people are remembered for what they did, but the challenge for us today is how will we be remembered? And how do we come together as a nation? So. Sometimes the reactions of students was very surprising. I know one young woman started to cry in the convocation because something that she heard struck her so deeply she was so happy to hear it. And in Louisiana, I have to tell you that civil rights, that last civil rights uh, location that was recognized by the National Park Service will be the absolute first to deal with civil rights in Louisiana. We are dead last as a state amongst the southern states that recognize the civil rights movement took place at all. Uh, a descendant of Plessy, a descendant of Ferguson, who have such a rich knowledge of the subject matter, brings a couple of things to Centenary College. You know, first, it brings a depth of understanding that I can only pretend to have. I learned, I learned this case law through uh, the, uh, the law itself, the books, some historical accounts. I can't pretend to have the sort of rich oral history that those who have been in these families know. Phoebe and Keith both said that they had never been on a college campus where the questions and the answers were so powerful and so penetrating we should really try to learn our past more so that we can possibly move forward and you know know about it and not repeat the same things over again and just that we are all equal we don't have to be separate we're all together 